I think this is the, yes, this is the one. We're going to watch this right here. Wait, 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 so this is from last year, okay? So one year ago, Michael Voris had a conversation with Milo Yiannopoulos, which we're going to draw, watch right now, okay? So we're going to watch this, and then we're going to see what the result was, okay? Because I want to see what, I want to get to the root of this whole Milo ex-gay thing. Now, as we all know, Michael Voris of the Vortex um, is uh, a notorious ex-gay. Um, he's a very hateful ex-gay man. Um, and I'm just going to say, I, I got a feeling he ain't as ex as he says he is, but if you say so. Now, Milo's trying to go that path, but listen, if I'm completely honest, Milo Yiannopoulos does not seem like the type of person who really likes to follow the rules, you know? Yeah. So why don't we watch and see what happens here, Spoon and we'll go from there, and then we'll decide, okay? Let's watch this. <laughs> In for eight years, it's like, you know what? I give up. I quit. And you're going to end up with, like, 14 Pope Emeritus's Emeriti. <laughs> It's the reti it's the, pap uh, the papal retirement club there in the Vatican Gardens. No, for real. And and we are, and who's going to have to pay for it? The laity. Uh, you know, we've got you know, there's all these like you know this is this is reproducing something like the French presidency, which is elected but not for life, carries all the trappings of monarchy, costs as much as monarchy, right. um, and then when you retire, the costs don't end. You know, you've got these all these ex presidents sitting around costing billions. Um, do we no. want this uh, from popes? Do we want like a bunch of popes sitting around ex popes? And do we want the situation that we have, you know, in politics where former uh, Don't watch this bozo? No, I want to. I think this is this is totally something I want to talk about. This is Friday. This is fun shit. I want to laugh at Milo having to pretzel himself into increasingly uncomfortable positions so that he can keep making money. Presidents are weighing in on the actions of current presidents. I think that would be catastrophic but thank you. for people. I appreciate your concern. Sure. No, I, I, that's that, the, those are valid points. Those are valid points. Let's shift gears if we can now. Get to. Uh, you your... didn't tell me why I'm wrong, which makes me think I've slightly persuaded you. No, 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 not at all. Uh, we, okay. we just we just have a set <laughs> amount of time. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Milo is still being flirty, but this guy is awkward as fuck. <laughs> We'll talk offline. <laughs> but this guy's awkward as shit. Yeah. Holy shit. Uh, in, so, okay, so in, in your book, one of the chapters in your book is called uh, Make the Vatican Straight Again. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, really? Is, does the Vatican need to be made straight? What do you mean by straight? Well, clearly what's going on as impolitic as it is to say and you can just imagine the panic of the new york times when one of these scandals erupts and they google the guy's name and all they can find is sermons on climate change and diversity and they're like my god not only is he one of us but he's gay what do we do um <laughs> it's quite clear i think it's beyond question that this is not just a systematic failing of governance or human resources this is a this is a gay problem this is a gay disease where you and, and this is a result of making room for one sin and others following it people forget how extreme milo is when he's talking among other right-wingers and he's trying to impress them impress them i should say if you create a space in which sexual misconduct of whatever kind or misbehavior uh, is routinely overlooked what you do is create institutions where people with yeah right can you imagine this is why i was this is why i was telling j derv that j derv totally j derv needs to embrace his real self because God, f milo could be so funny if milo wasn't such a s pathetic sociopath other things wrong with them uh, <clears throat> come as well so the, the the link between pedophilia and homosexuality which the left like cannot bear to have pointed out um i think he would say it but milo is somebody milo is somebody who i truly believe is a grifter when i say gri when when i when i think of the word grifter i think of somebody who doesn't believe what they say they're doing and they're following the money 
I think Milo is like categorically like the most Machiavellian grifter you could possibly imagine. For the longest time, he had cushy jobs writing for right wing mags in, in the UK. And then everything went downhill from there. And he's been increasingly desperate since then. But Milo used to live the high life. Milo used to live the high life. I mean, wow. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. But I think that I think that he will say anything to make sure that he keeps getting those checks. Because, see, Milo, you can tell on his face, Milo is a spoiled brat. Yeah? Milo is a spoiled brat. And both in character and in what he actually likes. See, he's tasted luxury. And he can't get the taste of luxury out of his mouth. He's not relevant again. We're talking about him because he, this is funny to me. This is relevant to me. But no, he's tasted luxury. He's he's had he's had nice haircuts and massages every day, and he's had uh, he's had high quality cocaine, and he's had imported coffee and fifteen thousand dollar wines and five star dinners, all that type of stuff, and that's what he wants. But he can't get it. Oh, I don't, I don't think he will at that point because God is trans girl. There's no fucking Milo. There's no, there's no path back for him. Milo is fucked and he knows he's fucked, which is why he's trying to do the church thing. Now there's no, by the way, just so you know, we're going to get to this, but there's no fucking way he's, he's actually ex gay. He, he's still living with his husband. Those two are fucking and probably fucking 20 other guys. There's no, he's, it's all for show it's not that gays are more likely to be into yes kids. he did not, but it is the other he way did that twice. pedophiles are much more likely to be homosexual so if there's a if there's a, a man who is a pedophile he is way more likely to be into boys he's speaking from experience on this one and projecting it out onto everyone else boys and girls um if you make an institution like um, the priesthood. What, if, let me interrupt you. Why do you think that is? Why? Uh, Payne Sama, he literally went on two two separate times. Two separate times. Um, he went on a show and talked about how he encourages relationships between, and these are his words, boys and adult men. Why does the left like consider that, you know, taboo? Just that's the third rail. They cannot talk about homosexual men lusting after 14-year-old boys. Why? It reveals a lie they told in the 80s. Um, when you look at the interrelations between all of these deviant sexualities, you realize that some of these things come from the same origins, and they're, na and they're nurture, what? not nature. Mm -hmm. The left has been since the 80s that people are born this way. What's well, PR? It's a lie. I would love to go on Drunken Peasants. If any of you have an in with Drunken Peasants, tell them to talk to me. I'd love that shit. Yes. Oh, Vermin, it's so, I know, it's so bad. Oh, at least it, when they said it, so there was bad. no evidence for it. Since the 80s, well, the reason being, of course, that it, when, when the religious right were saying this is a, a, an immoral lifestyle choice, the left were thinking to themselves, well, how do we get around this? Because, I mean, on the... Yes, that's true, Plague Doctor. In their own terms, they are right. I know, what if gays are like blacks or women? And it's just something you're born. That makes them the bigots rather than us, the disordered people. So uh, I think that it draws... By the way, he will say anything. When he's talking to Michael Voris, he'll talk about how it's disordered to be gay. And then he'll go back on this, like, instantaneously. He doesn't have... Milo has no principles whatsoever. Except for, let me get back into my fucking designer... I, I, re I really want to get my designer clothes and my luxury car and my limo rides and my fancy mansion. That's it. Yo, that's awesome, Vermin. Thank you. And if that's possible, I would love that. That would be so cool. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That, that, that article right there show, talks about it. He lost. That's what cost him the book deal. Um, Drunken Peasants. I would, I would love to when COVID's over, but I'll do a digital thing with them anytime. They're, they seem cool as fuck. Attention to the complex interrelated na nature of some of these yeah, sexually funny deviant as fuck. behaviors, because they are related. It draws attention to the shit. lie of born this way. But I also think it, rem it 
they don't like being reminded how disordered they are. Um, nothing upsets a leftist like you brazenly telling them the truth about themselves. And people only become social justice warriors because they're hurting and they want other people to hurt too. Um, the, the, the reason they get so angry Okay, but here's the thing. See, Milo and Blair White are both pathetic, but in different ways. Milo is the type of person who will sell out every single gay person into the death camps that you can imagine. But he'd get a ticket out of the country before things went south. See, he would live. He would totally live because he would make sure that he gets the money to leave and fuck everyone else over. Blair would, would literally just blunder right into it like she is right now. It's sad, but it's true. Action being made is that they failed in the 1970s to legitimize pedophilia, although they tried. There was NAMBLA here. There was a, an equivalent... Um, uh, organization, I've forgotten the name of it now, but, but senior Labour Party figures who are currently still at the heart of the British government opposition were involved. And remember, uh, uh, and remember, Milo Yiannopoulos stumped hella hard for Donald Trump, and Donald Trump was on fucking Epstein's flight logs. This guy's got fucking nothing. He doesn't care. And this is all virtue signaling because, again, Milo advocates in favor of pedophilia. It's called the, uh, the Pedophile Information Exchange, PI. Uh, Harriet Harman, who's a very senior labor politician, been around for decades, was a key figure trying to uh, present child abuse as just another valid altern alternative sexuality. That's what you do, Milo. You have literally done that. This is all projection. Yeah, the article was linked to and, and you know that they don't really believe this because Salon, the far left website, mm -hmm. used to publish a guy. Odd Nickerson, who described himself as a virtuous pedophile. He said he had attraction to children, <clears throat> but he didn't act on it. Uh, and what they were trying to do was was present this as just another kind of sexuality uh, and say, oh, you see, pedophiles can be good people too. It was all this sort of undermining and all this chipping away at people's natural and correct revulsion and disgust at something like this. You know, they All of this? Take all of this? in in fucking mind that he's simultaneously saying all of this while he's literally on multiple occasions advocated in favor of pedophilic relationships we're just trying to eat away at the edges of it when they came for me with this false charge of being an apologist for whatever they deleted all those articles You're so that nobody man. could go back and say you used to try to legitimize this stuff. So I think they're realizing that they can't get away with because, you know, even even left-wingers end up parents. Even they've got kids, you know? So right. so they can't sell this That stuff. doesn't surprise me you'd um, be lying about it. They, they now have got to the stage where they don't want to admit that deviant sexualities are all related and that there is very often a nurture component to all... Wrong. ...all of them. And one of the things I talked about with Patrick Coffin was... Uh, were, and, and I only mention it very briefly in the book because I don't want to get bogged down uh, in this subject, but... Did my experiences with Father Michael True. affect my sexual trajectory? I don't know. That's him referencing his experience, and he's talking about it in different light than he was in other occasions. And I think it's idiotic to say, of course not, born this way, blah, blah, blah. Everyone's experiences of sexuality are of being born this way. Why? Because you're not aware of the forces that are acting on you consciously. You don't know it is from your background or upbringing may have shaped you into the person you are, unless you really think about it. And even then, you might arrive at the wrong conclusion because you just don't know. You have no idea how your subconscious and your unconscious mind are kind of absorbing and remixing and, and forming you during those early years. You just don't know. So, of course, everyone's experience of, of, of turning out gay or turning into a lesbian is that they were born that way because, no, you know, they didn't have those moments in childhood where they're like, oh, that's what to – nobody, that's not how it works. So everybody feels and thinks like they were just born that way, whereas actually the science is very much out, and it's split pretty much down the middle. For some people, there's... See, Milo lies like it's a second language. My, every word out of Milo's life, out, out of Milo's li uh, mouth is a fucking lie. This dude would lie, lie, lie himself into a corner. All he cares about is that motherfucking paycheck. The strong predisposition for others conversion therapy might well work mm -hmm. and 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 this all undermines a huge audacious lie 
that started in the 80s, which is that, that gay people were born this way. Would I really debate Milo? Would I debate Milo? I don't know, maybe. And that's the reason they don't like that's, that's the answer to your question. But it also, when you know that, probably so much of how they talk about homosexual behavior and gay starts to make a bit more sense. Mm -hmm. Are you surprised that the largest uh, association in the sort of the journalistic world, uh, TV news media specifically, uh, is the uh, uh, laying uh, 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 gay lesbian True. journalists association? Milo that's got the clapped by the largest. Jangles. Group. No. I mean, you know, there's black reporters, Hispanic reporters, blah, blah, blah. But that is the single largest membership group in the entire television news world. You know, specifically, he nearly actually, cries. He doesn't literally cry. There's no tears, but he's pouting like hell. He knows he got beaten. Lesbians. And, and um, nobody will tell you this. Oh, yeah. Milo fucking hates lesbians, by the way. He, like, actually hates lesbians. That's one thing I do believe. Like, that's one thing I do believe in. He actually hates lesbians. And he hates trans people. Well, know this or care enough to spend time enough to think about it but my next book that i'm writing at the moment has a chapter on this how le the chapter no way, how lesbians ruined everything. i can't do that i don't, uh, I don't, I don't want to give even ruin the attention stuff. now if you look at gay charities like stonewall and, and and gay aids charities like the terence higgins trust that was supposed to be about stopping gay people get aids they're all now run by lesbians and they're all preoccupied with transgender pronouns fighting right wing whatever in defiance of their charitable obligations blah 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 and this is all concurrent with them being taken over with the management of the administration of them being taken over by gay women gay women have done the same thing in the academy starting gender studies courses you know whether they're bitter divorcees or people who call themselves divorcees or they're you know spinsters people who think they're lesbians um having read for almost a decade the the about the background to all of this stuff because i've been looking into it for myself for personal reasons i've come to the conclusion that female Female homosexuality is fundamentally different to male homosexuality. Yeah, and see, he's literally, oh my God. Oh, it's so fucking funny. Literally, he just, that. now that is one thing that he's not grifting on. Milo hates lesbians. And you can go look. He, I happen to know of an article that he wrote for Breitbart like five, six years ago that was a, maybe even more than that. That was about how much he hates lesbians. He's written like multiple our, our articles. Yes, I am. I am Milo's natural queer enemy. It's true. Yeah, Milo just fucking hates lesbians. It's so... I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Lesbianism among women is much more of a conscious political choice. Uh, and very often these women... <laughs> political lesbians! Oh! Oh my God! So I heard Nibiru. Retreat into the arms of other women after bad relationships with men. Men very rarely do that. You know, a man has a bad relationship with a woman. He doesn't go up, go and get. He, he doesn't go and get with a guy. Uh, uh, you sure about that, buddy? You fucking sure about that? Uh oh. He'll go, he goes and plays sports or video games or gets fat. Uh, he doesn't go off and. <laughs> He doesn't go off and, you know, sink to his knees in a park somewhere. That's just not how male sexuality works at all. Um, by the time it's sort of you're in a rut and wired in, that's pretty much all you can do. Milo says this probably having fucked a million dudes who just had a, a bad fucking breakup. Look at, look at, Milo knows it. Milo knows he's fucking lying right now. This motherfucker has, this dude has ruined so many marriages. You know it. You know this motherfucker has ruined so many marriages and taken pleasure in it whichever direction you're pointed in for the rest of your life. But women have much more malleable sexuality, and I think it's more of a conscious political choice for them. And for many of these women, uh, um, yes, basically, I yes. think their sexuality is part of a package of political um, opinions and part of that sort of, of um, that consumerist package of identity that they've put together. And the same thing is Whoa, breaking out the Peter Coffin talking point. Whoa, it's the consumerist gay identity with Wicca, with witchcraft, mm -hmm. you know? Um, these women who have lost God, but are still, an, but they don't have a husband and they don't have children, so they, they have this vast gulf, this void in the middle of their souls, and they don't know how to fill it or what to fill it with. So they're finding things like witchcraft. I think the choice to identify as lesbian comes from somewhere similar. Lamau. Yeah, that's very interesting. It's very interesting. Uh, well, <laughs> it certainly is my experience. That's very interesting. He fucking, this dude, look at this. This guy... 
I'm telling you right now, zoned out completely. This guy's just completely zoned out to everything he was saying, and he was fucking thinking about Milo. This dude is undressing Milo with his eyes right now. You fucking tell me, listen to this, and tell me that that is not what's happening. Listen. I think the choice to identify as <laughs> exactly, Vermin comes from somewhere similar. Yeah, that's very interesting. It's very interesting. <laughs> You're right. He's like jacking it right now. He's just like, yeah, yeah. Sorry, what was that? Were you saying something about um, about lesbians? Interesting. Uh, well, it, it certainly is my experience in TV news. I mean, there were obviously a lot of gay guys. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, there you go. There's that quote, Gina. Guys, you know, who are producers and reporters and all that sort of thing. But there always was sort of there was always behind the scenes that, you know, uh, kind of. Controlling Often. lesbian atmosphere. It, it, that's he's, exactly. <laughs> he's bullshitting so hard. Would you say hating this guy for his grifting betrayal of the queer community is well justified? I fucking hate this billboard for why abortion is important. I mean, uh, no, I think hating this guy is fine. But it's only Fuck half the gay life. men in any particular industry are going to show up for these clubs, you know, these unions, the clubs, the societies. The, the other half are too busy having a life. You know, they want to go out, they want to have sex, they want to, like, get on with their life. Still and then jacking, you've got the other half still jacking sort of, you know, in front of the, his audience right now. The limp-wristed, wet blankets who are happy to be bossed around by lesbians. And that's what the gay charitable world is like now. It's, it's you know... Uh, Listen, they're all limp, they're all limp, wet-wristed, well, wet blankets. Oh my god, Milo is so ridiculous. Holy shit. That's because he's rich. That's why I Plague Doctor. I told you, Milo has tasted luxury and he can't get enough of it. We're weak-minded bottoms, if you like. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, this is so sad. He's, he's literally oh my god this 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 he's so fucking smug this is the most listen this is the most brat shit imaginable going on this is this is like dark brat right here i'm i'm sorry it is so true this is dark brat right here he's taking great pleasure in the fact that he can shit on other brats and uh, or sorry other bottoms while on a on a platform like this oh my motherfucking god this is just it is exuding it For, for to, to use the terminology, um, <laughs> careful. And, and, and our audience. <laughs> oh, look at him turning red! Oh my God, Milo's macking on this guy so hard, and he knows he's fucking with him. And the bossy <laughs> and the bossy lesbians who rule over them, um, right. and 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 very often in these societies, like the it's a religious society, program. Yes, they are dominated by um, domineering women who've decided to forswear male company. Mm -hmm. And I don't really believe in lesbianism per se, but I think... <laughs> Milo, come on, dude! <laughs> yeah, quite literally, Vermin. I'm not kidding you. That is literally what's going on right now. They, 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 they have definitely sworn off men, and certainly they probably have some unsatisfying, unfulfilling... Uh, momentary encounters with women, uh, but basically they're just alone. Basically they're just spinsters, and they decided to call themselves lesbians because the the the, the horror of the full realization, the horror of of admitting that you're just going to be alone forever is too much. So they decide to be a lesbian instead. <laughs> there he goes. He's checked out again. He was like he was all hyped up for the for the talk about the weak-minded bottoms, but now he's like, well, what were you saying again? Sorry. Sure. And one of the reasons it's important to just sort of lay that out is because it is the news media True, and the Herman. entertainment media, but specifically the news media, which really sets so much of the agenda. Good night, Nibiru. Uh, in in the cultural, political, which all spills over into the theological debate. I mean, that's just the reality <laughs> of it is. So, you know, it's interesting. We were all sitting around a newsroom one time. I, 15, 20 years ago, and saying, this is amazing. There are probably less than 1,000 people. Uh, that was the debate. Is it 500 or is it 1,000 uh, people in the United States who determine on a daily basis? Yep. Yep, the guy who could. That is M Milo's mentality. What, 300 million other people are fed. 
and that's yeah, really what it comes down to. It's somewhere between that number, for sure. Um, just you know, it's it's always remarkable to me the number of batty, conservative things from the past that repeat on us and reveal themselves to be true. I don't know if you'll remember. I don't know if it was Goldwater or if it was. You know, I forget. But there's a, there's a famous um, there's, it, it, it's a meme now. You know, uh, lesbianism. You know, will something about you know uh, oh. women will practice witchcraft and become lesbians and all the rest of it. It's a funny thing. But this stuff now is revealing itself to be so prescient. And this was just some Republican politician mouthing off in the 60s or whatever. Um, but yes, I mean, this is this is. Don't underestimate the power of this. Of when you take God out of a woman's life and she doesn't have a husband and she doesn't have children and she gets to 35. Right. Milo has been snorting fucking cocaine and sucking dicks all over the world and he's going to try and talk about God. This guy is, oh my fucking God. This guy is such a fraud. Milo is such a fraud. Bad things happen. Just true. And when you He's literally written articles, extensive articles about about how he flies around the world and sucks dicks and does drugs all over the world. And then he has the gall to try and talk about God. Come on. Come on. And when you get 20% of society that's like that, awful things happen. And those awful things are the modern academy modern media, a modern entertainment industry. Um, this is the result of, of women who were lied to, who were told he's that they could go and have again. careers. He's Catholic. He's not born again. He's Catholic. He's Catholic. It's a, he's a fraud. No, I didn't see that, Sugar Glass. And, and you know, have children later. Women who were, who were systematically dissuaded from religion by decades of ridicule and marginalization of the faithful from the public square. And these women have been lied to and left bereft, miserable, and alone. And now they're angry about it and they want to take it out on someone. So they come for people like us instead of redirecting their True, anger where it belongs, which is and thank you very their much. feminist parents. Uh, and, you know, the, 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 the second wave feminists of the 60s and 70s who told them that they could go and do all of these things and that they would be happy. I want to see... And I You're see just the start of it with Gen Z, the post millennial generation. He doesn't do any of them. He doesn't do any of them, Ada. This guy doesn't give a shit. He's just a grifter. He's just a fraud. Mm -hmm. I want to see. Um, we had the bra burning in the 60s and 70s. I want right. to see protests of women burning their briefcases um, and marching in, in support of motherhood, uh, <laughs> you know, and the family. Oh, and come on, Milo. Communities. You don't give a fucking shit about that. And I see that happening slightly. And this is what I talked about in the speech that you reprinted so kindly. Mm -hmm. um, I really do. One of the things that I have, the reason I've been successful in my life is I, I seem to have this ability to see around corners and to sense what's coming, even if I that can't tell you That doesn't surprise me. And this is one of my big... Uh, my spider senses are really going off about Jenny. Nah, nah, I feel zero sympathy for fucking Milo. Not a little bit. Not even, not even the one drop of si of sympathy that I feel for Blair White do I feel for Milo. Milo's a co total fraud, a total asshole. He's one of the most vicious and horrible people that you could possibly imagine. Now, nah, fuck and Milo. And I'm becoming convinced that not only are they going to have something like a religious revival, but they're going to have a, re a revival of other absolute. Um, what made him this true. way? I don't know. Probably nothing. He's just, he just enjoys being bad. It's Milo well. loves being evil. Beauty. Come on, look at this face. This is the face of a fucking bratty fuck who loves being evil. What do you mean, oh, come on? Do you know anything about Milo? Go look at what he's been writing for the last 20 years. <laughs> are you, are you kidding me? He's a Disney villain, and he loves it. He's so theatrical. He fucking loves it. For instance, I think that we are long overdue a return to aspirational beauty standards and to glamour um, and to the unattainable perfection. Listen, I know Milo's type. Milo, Milo is the type of person... Milo is the type of person who learned that he could get a lot of atten attention from doing like a lot of negative attention that was still attention and he doesn't really distinguish the difference between negative attention and positive attention as long as he keeps getting the cash literally
Literally. This guy quite... This guy quite literally... Rivers USA, oh my god, please shut the fuck up. You're gonna make me lose my mind. Um... No. Milo has been doing this grift for fucking 20 years. This is a guy, he fucking loves pissing people off. If you even look at a single thing, he delights in pissing people off. There are people like that. Milo's just particularly, particularly loves pissing people off. You know, 40s, 50s, 60s. Have you, did you not see him do the fucking... Do you, did you not see the fucking burn that he did on Elijah? This dude loves pissing people off. Uh, if you look at the body positivity movement, turning what should be beautiful and glorious, God's creation that we should take care of and treat our bodies like, you know, whatever, vandalizing it and holding it up as a mockery, like they do when they put Tess Holliday on the cover of Self or Caitlyn Jenner on the cover of, of Vanity Fair. Mm -hmm. This is... This is a mockery. I mean, this is blasphemy because it's it's taking something beautiful. <laughs> Milo, Milo, pedophilia and advocator talking about blasphemy. Oh my God, what a fraud! And pure, and turning it into something grotesque and deformed and um, and and uh, vandalized. You know. Uh, well, and here's the thing. And remember, this was a year ago. This was just when Milo had begun his dark, his like fallen arc. This guy is 100, 100% way more pissed off because guess what? He's not pissing people off anymore. He's just boring. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, Vermin. True. I but think true. The, but true. But Gen true. Z, but from true. what I can but tell, because my fans start at like age 12, you know, and I talk to them as much as I can over email. Um, their parents all hate me, which is brilliant because they. I'm sorry. Um, what? Can we can we restart that real quick, Vermin? Vermin, that was shockingly well timed, Vermin. Uh, and, and I think I think that Gen Z, from what I can tell, because my fans start at like age 12, you know, and I talk to them as much as I can over email. Um, their parents all hate me, which is brilliant because they have. What? Look at this motherfucker. He's he's smirking. He's bragging about his shit. Listen, there is a type of person out there, okay? Listen, listen, everyone listen to me. There is a type of person out there who takes great pleasure in being able to brag about the bad things that they do. You understand that, right? Do you know that? Yes, there there is a do you want to know? Do you want to know that there are literally serial killers who were proud to brag about the crimes they did because they got pleasure from bragging about it? There was a guy named fucking Albert Fish. Anybody know Albert Fish? Fucked up child rapist, child murderer, literally wrote letters confessing extensively to the crimes that he did. He wrote letters to the parents of the children he killed, confessing in disgusting detail what it was. And he told them he was jacking off while writing the letters. There is There are people like this, okay? And look, Vermin, uh, Vermin was 100% right here. Vermin was so fucking right in 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 fucking calling this out. No no wonder he doesn't. Literally, just psychic. Look at him. Look at his fucking face. I have to buy my book secretly. And they, <laughs> what's so funny is that I have thirteen year old fans who buy my book and keep it under the mattress instead of porn. Um, L oh my motherfucking god. You know, they, they, where, where previously there would have been porn magazines under the mattress in the in the 80s and 90s. The, you know, these Gen Z uh, uh, kids with feminist parents are keeping my book under their mattress. Um, but they have seen how miserable, how utterly miserable their parents' generation is and how their bad choices have led to bad outcomes. Um, and, and it's very encouraging. I didn't have much hope for Western civilization until the last two years when I started to see what Gen Z were about. <laughs> 
<laughs> Milo is such a fucking fraud. Uh, he's such a fucking fraud. I didn't have much hope for Western civilization until I found out that the Gen Zers were jacking off to my book. Well, well let me ask you, Milo, what do you think? Think you, I mean, you're talking about feminism, radical feminism, not authentic feminism as represented by, for example, the Blessed Mother, but this radical feminism, which has really sort of sh shook Western civilization to its foundations and actually destroyed some of the foundations. Where do you see that has uh, worked its way into the Catholic Church? What can be done to prevent future Milos? Uh, you need to fix the you need to fix the world and and make it possible for people to get mental health care for their entire life. That's what you need to do, because Milo is not a healthy person. Milo is not a happy person. Milo is a miserable sack of shit, who is coasting on the last remains of his spite, which is incredibly entertaining to watch. By the way, there's not much you could do about Milo. Well, Nothing the Catholic Church do. is now you can do, that's of for sure. going down the same road as as, as uh, the Methodist Church, which is basically just women and gays. I don't think there's a I don't think there's a heterosexual man left in the Methodist Church. Uh, <laughs> what? What? Um, if there's any, if there are any men at all, this it, it's more like a bridge club now. You know, a pew after pew <laughs> after pew of women. Oh my God. Milo, this is the this is one of the things why Milo is 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 so successful at what he does because he's horrible and unapologetic, and that makes him funny. Saying that there's not a single heterosexual man left in the in the Methodist Church, that it's more like a bridge club than a relationship with God, is that is that you can't write better than that, okay? With a gay pastor. And that's it. Or a female pastor, indeed. Heaven for friend. Um, so I think that we're really at risk of going down that path. And this is one of the more serious subjects. What I do you mean by redeem herself? What do you What do you mean by redeem herself? Talk about in the book. I, I, get, I get into this a little bit. And that's really what this gay chapter is about. So I talk about how the, the clerical abuse crisis is, of course, uh, a product of gay dysfunction, a product of looking at the other way. When you create these spaces, these these seminaries where people won't look, you know, won't ask too many questions. Well, of course, if you're a child abuser or a pedophile, you're going to go there because you can get out, get away with murder and nobody will say anything. So it attracts, you know, uh... remember, remember, Milo literally advocated in favor of the, of priests abusing children. This is this is you see the church is always right about everything you know this sort of like you let one sin in and others will follow and it, it's only later in life you realize what that means and it's like well that's an example you know it's like literally other people Maybe worse people come in when you turn a blind eye to the I don't think I don't think she's got the mind for it I I don't know what being born this way means Rivers USA I don't think it there's no way you can know what's in somebody's head but. Except you can in, in, you can get some ideas when Milo is grinning and f and and fucking loving every minute of him boasting about the weird shit that he does online. Come on, first one. So uh, I don't really care how he got there at all. Milo is a fucking monster, piece of shit who's hurt a million people. Milo has literally targeted random trans students for harassment. Milo is a monster. All he gives a shit about is is fucking making jokes and getting away with anything that he thinks he can and having the most comfortable life that he possibly can. A total fraud through and through. But, but, but what I really mean in that chapter, you know, make... Rivers, I'm like so... I, I'm, I'm, I'm so close to... No. No, Rivers, that is not the same concept at all. The Vatican straight again is to re is that is that the church in the way that it that, that our priests speak to us and what our the fuck is up why is chat being like this today what the fuck chat has been so fucking they've been so trolly to me today why am I getting trolled so hard by chat understanding of liturgy and, and, and I've been of... giving you content all day and you people are torturing me the things too has to rediscover the value of heroic manly virtue because i think what the catholic church has lost is a grasp on what's good about men 
they're quite good at telling us what's bad about men, and they're quite good at telling us what's wonderful about women. What? Now and again, when they're not preoccupied with migrants or climate change. Um, <laughs> they certainly don't, they don't do it in relation to, to Mary, but they will at least talk about, you know, feminism or, or toxic masculinity, believe it. Anyway, you only have to read America magazine to realize how converged so much of the Catholic Church is, you know. Um, but it, it, I think no, if you want to save please. the Catholic Church, you know, what, what happens to Pope Francis, whether he quits or goes, is irrelevant compared to the larger question of sure. how you restore an appreciation for manhood and masculinity back into the church. Um, so, and, and one of the ways to do this has got to be to clear out, the, uh, clear out some of these gay priests. How can you expect a priesthood to, that has such a complicated... Hold, hold, hold on a second, Milo. Hold on a second. Milo just said the way to fix the Catholic Church is to clear out the gay priests. Get rid right? of them all. Yes, of course. How can you expect people with such a complicated and dysfunctional relationship to their own manhood? He asks, he acts like that's a surprise. Milo will say this whenever he thinks it'll get the most fucking reaction. To be able to teach young boys about how to be men. I mean, these are supposed to be shepherds. These are supposed to be father figures. And, and how can you be a father if you don't know what it is to be a man? And, you know, my hunch is that a lot of the without going into too much detail because I know that this won't be to your, won't, your audience won't have an appetite for this but there's a man and a woman in homosexual relationships um, and I believe that the vast majority of people who go into the priesthood are the woman and so <laughs> oh my god oh my god <laughs> Milo come on dude oh my fucking god this is Milo is Milo is just, oh my God. Oh. Oh my fucking God. Milo masterfully fucking greases the wheels of these people. So they're, they're already the- This is a guy who knows how to manipulate anybody. Fill in the relationship. To say nothing of the fact that they're not attracted to women in the first place. Um, how can you expect people like that to appeal to young men? I mean, what has the Catholic, what has any Catholic priest said in the last 50 years that a college athlete could relate to? Nothing. Because these people don't know, I mean, it, it, it's, it's so bizarre. It's one of the places. I can't tell if Milo is advocating for more mask gay priests, more, more top gay priests or if he's saying no gay priests at all it, it's really hard to tell the difference between his two it, you know what he's actually angling for here because a certain it, to a certain degree it sounds like what he really wants to say is that there needs to be more mask gay priests this is in society where gay men are concentrated well i know that's the argument he's making but what's he really saying um yet they somehow don't have an appreciation even for superficial masculinity you know it's like right. even just i don't know you'll have to ask milo vermin for like even just for like men looking good well i mean milo talk Mar about you know um <laughs> it's it, to say nothing of the more important questions of of virtue you know like i said earlier the heroic manly virtues we only function when men and women operate in harmony in full understanding Endless, endless wonder. Remember, Milo is the type of person who would absolutely try to tease the fuck out of someone he had no intention of fucking. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm just saying, Milo is totally the type of person who sees sexual things as, a, as at least some part conquest, you know? He wants to seduce. It's, it's visible on every inch of his fucking, of his fucking being. of what makes the other powerful but also the ways in which the other is vulnerable and the catholic church is wandering particularly under people like francis and his lieutenants uh into the same mistakes that the thank you gina the, 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 all the various kinds of protestant churches have made and removing right there yes yes he did louis baton yes hold you right there you said 
wandering into sort of kind of happenstance, falling into it, kind of stumble bumbling. That would be awesome. I think, it, I think is this a, is this an actual setup? Is this a plan? I love it, Vermin. I love it. Oh well, uh, doubtless there are. Actors. I'll put, I'll protect you from the weak from the weak minded bottoms in chat within the church who are um, uh, who 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 are agitating for that future. Of course there, are. and we know there are. I mean, there's James Martin. Um, is the most mind-blowingly confusing person I've ever seen. And I just, why doesn't he just come out already? Just <laughs> give it up. Just, <laughs> you know, just, just, just take off the frock, come out, and live your life, sweetheart. You know, <laughs> like, um, God, Father um, James Martin, there you are. You heard it right there from Milo himself. No, right it's there. Like, no, I come can, out. <laughs> I can see why he. I can see why he stays in the priesthood. Again, no one asks questions when he wears dresses, but other. What am I? What have I been saying this entire time? Milo is fucking loving this right now. He's shitting on everybody. He's fucking teleflirting with the most well-known gay priest in the country. Other than that, he can't make him very happy. He can't be very happy. He, you know, he's in an institution that he believes, um, you know, is 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 fundamentally antithetical to all of his. Pref anyway, let's not waste time on him. Ah. <laughs> The mask was slipping a little there, Milo. You don't want to continue that fucking sentence because that would cast a bad light on you, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Except guess what? We all know that Milo will lie through his teeth and tell you he's an ex-gay while still fucking his husband. While still fucking his 15 boyfriends. But, Come on. Sure. Come um, on! What was the question? Don't fucking I lie to me! Got so distracted, like, <laughs> ragging on that idiot. Um, what did you ask me? I literally forgot the question. I haven't done that in an interview. He's flirting with Michael Voris so hard. For about a year. He's got Michael Voris laughing like crazy. But that man just drives me so... You see, I, what, what I want your listeners to take away from... Do you think Milo got taken over by his evil twin in a mad science experiment and good guy Milo is stuck no. in his own brain? No, Thanks I think... For the gifted sub. I think... Th uh, thank you very much, Lady Kelgana. I appreciate that a lot. And by the way, I think... I think... That... Uh, that... The good guy Milo is in our chat. I think the good, the good twin of Milo is J Derv and we have a, we have hope if J Derv can only overcome his dark twin in this interview is that there are some people who despite their uh, sexual proclivities are are okay you know there are good gays there are, there there's their gays and there's our gays and you know and our, our gays might have some questions to answer in the final reckoning you know uh, 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 on their on their on their way to to meet the maker but we're not all bad we're, we're some of us some of us are all right um, I, I completely forgot your question. <laughs> <laughs> Is <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. What color right now? Is 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 Michael Voris? What color is Michael Voris? And what does that usually indicate? What does a a person being this color usually indicate? Huh? You tell tell me that, chat. Is the advancing? I'm I'm glad that we got to put this down in writing. Oh no, Mark chat went down. I stumped Milo. Uh, <laughs> call hey, no, I just, no, I remembered. Now I've, no, I've remembered. You see, you uh, were darn it. Okay, you were good. Now you see, Thank you, you, took too, you took too much time <laughs> gloating. Uh, <laughs> now, obviously, there are actors back, within the back. church who are agitating for that future. Sure. Francis, his lieutenants. Although I don't think Francis is a political ideologue so much as a sort of Clintonian power hungry uh, politician in the, you know, the mold of Perron, where he's from. Mm -hmm. uh, but the people around him clearly are. The institution, when I say drifting, I mean that because of, because of how Catholicism is, things can't lurch in the way that the entertainment industry can and has, uh, the academy can and has. Um, you know, the Vatican II is, you know, the greatest example of a lurch in the wrong direction. But in the grand scheme of things, it's a corrective, not a revolution, right? Uh, it's a corrective that needs to be unwound, but it is nonetheless a comparatively small adjustment to the overall body uh You're because of how and what the catholic church is those things must necessarily happen slowly which is good it means we can stop it before it gets much worse having said that as i detail in the book 
there's there are some reasons for not despair of course but there are some reasons for to be to feel dispirited because despite all of that the catholic church is an extraordinarily left-wing institution and it always has been and the slurs and the slanders that were um laid at the door of the pope um during the second world war uh, in that bernard cornwall is it bernard cornwall um which was you know uncritically repeated you know the, uh, uncritically repeated by the bbc i think that's the only documentary the bbc has ever had to record. the traditionally left-wing catholics tracked they were right. tracked entire thing all based on in this conversation absolutely 85 to 2d derek there is no fucking way that michael voris isn't totally fucking d dying of temptation right now lies um the catholic well, communist propaganda is all soviet soviet look at this guy oh my god soviet propaganda never been in bed with fascists but it has very often been in bed with communists mm -hmm. um and not not just in, in chicago in the 60s where obama was uh, raised in a catholic funded alinsky founded uh, community organizing uh, training uh, um, uh, institution, but 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 also McCarrick, who yeah. was brought out of retirement to be the Pope's envoy to China, uh, you know, and now they've signed a deal with China that gave. Was this the first time since the investiture? Uh, is, it, is it the first time since Milo? Listen, Milo is a Milo is a is a a expert bullshitter. He's just talking about random fucking shit that he knows this guy will be like, oh, yeah, yeah, totally. What the fuck is he even talking about? Some fucking Alinsky-founded... What? What is he referencing? No one knows what he's talking about. Michael Voris doesn't know what he's talking about. Michael Voris is just watching his fucking lips. Either whatever the hell. Um, uh, this is the great... The, the biggest problem being a Catholic isn't living a good virtuous life it's remembering which popes are which um it's gregory the seventh i think uh and it's you know the investiture crisis it's, mm -hmm. it's been, since then the catholic church has not willingly handed over power the selection of bishops to a state like you know just and they just they just gave it to china and and, and that never happened <laughs> that fucking sniff <laughs> They just gave it to China, you know? Happens <laughs> with right wing uh, governments Holy or administrations. Shit. In right. fact, when sufficiently right wing administration emerges, the Catholic Church can be relied upon to criticize it. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it almost doesn't matter who's Pope. And so even if you've got a doctrinally conservative Pope, they're still. You'll still never hear them say anything good about a Republican politician, uh, whereas you might well hear them say something good about a, a Democrat. Um, if you look at the so there's a ch the chapter two in the book i think it is no three sorry so listen you would have to be i'm sorry you would have to be naive to think that milo yiannopoulos doesn't fucking consume a fucking country's worth of cocaine every year come the fuck on are you kidding me chapter three in the book talks a little bit about some of the connections between um like the social democrats uh, social democratic part, uh, party and various... do you think milo is targeting no i think milo gets a weird a perverse a perverse high out of tempting a, a, an ex-gay man i think that's what you it know, is organization groups the the, the um the, the various different bits of communist infiltration cultural marxism right. the bishops conferences have been in bed with since day one i mean the american who at the height of the abuse, abuse crisis were going to liberation uh, uh, conferences that were talking about, you know, that literally Marxist conferences where they were mm -hmm. coming indoctrinated in, um, in communism, but in, in, in full-blooded, like, you know, Latin American Marxism. Uh, and, the, you know, the, the, the Catholic Church has been not just a participant in it, but a funder of this stuff to the point where, we step out. I mean, you know about this because you guys report on this so brilliantly and assiduously and, and thoroughly. This is, you are where I come for my news on this most of the time. Um, so the flattery. Now he's laying in with the flattery. Oh, damn, Milo. Look at Milo's coming in with the flattery now. You will, of course, know this and your listeners will know this. But it's remarkable to most people who don't know or to laity who aren't particularly interested in politics that 
you can find yourself uh, unwittingly funding Planned Parenthood by giving money to the Catholic Church. Oh, totally. Church. Pain Sama, he it's would say whatever. It's so mind-blowingly Again, messed. Milo has no actual beliefs about fucking reality except that he hates lesbians that much that that is true he does hate lesbians milo would advocate for anything that he thinks would keep getting him attention you're good stuff right. um and as a result of the deep and close yeah that's correct the almost Derek. symbiotic it's relationship between bishops and cardinals and far-left political activists and this has been going on for decades um and this is what has given us the china situation ultimately sure. and the most important thing that I try to, I don't say it too often in the book, I just, I try to show it in the book by just placing things together and letting the reader put two and two together. Very often, the people who are most aggressively pushing in a leftward direction politically and liturgically, the people who are most aggressively trying to dilute church teaching to um, shake things up about, you know, gays, contraception, and, div and, and divorced people, you know, uh, and communion and all the rest of it. They're the same people who are covering up for the child abusers. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All of that is of the same, it's of the same, same oh. fabric. <laughs> this dude was not, this guy was not fucking paying attention every single time. Okay, listen, let me tell you something. How do I describe this? Have you ever heard of the idea that men will not listen to what a woman is saying because they're listening to the sound of her voice right and they're, they're they're not even listening to the words that a woman is saying they're just listening to her voice because they like the the woman right you've heard of this yes you've heard of this this is this is parodied in movies all the time this is what's happening right now this is this is what is happening right now. Th this is what's happening right now. Michael Voris is totally zoning out every time his his little across the way femme brat is talking. It's not a coincidence. It's the same loss of There is some truth faith. to it, yes. There's something else. It's because if you really like somebody, you might be thinking about them and not necessarily what they're saying to you. And you might enjoy the sound of their voice and not necessarily thinking about the words that they're saying. In the, in their, in, in the place there, whether it's the pursuit of power, whether it's whatever, it, it comes from the same place. These things are related. There is a reason why the cardinals and bishops who are covering up for their friends who mess with children because their friends are politically aligned with them and who will back them up are also the same people who are aggressively pushing for the dilution of church doctrine in defiance of the fact that we all know, which is the more God you take out of the church, the more people you lose. You don't take out... Well, I'm also good at making people pay attention to me like this. Imps! Fucking, are you paying attention or are you fucking memeing in chat? See? I can get people's attention. There you go. One thing people come for, which is, you know, the fire and brimstone, which is being told what to do, which is being challenged to live a better life rather than told that they're brilliant no matter what. Um, you know, this meeting I know people you're not, where Gene, they it's are. Okay. I mean, my God. I, oh, I, it, this is the most this is the most important thing that you can take away from this book. And it's the most important thing to understand angry, about the crisis worry. that the church is currently facing. It is that these two things are related. It's right. not a coincidence. That people who are messing with kids and covering for people who mess with kids are also pushing for the dilution of church doctrine. And they're doing all of that for the same reasons. Sure, absolutely. Well, you provide a nice segue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. Mm hmm. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry, these reactions are unbelievable. Also, look at that. <laughs> the freeze frame. All of that for the same reasons. Sure, absolutely. Sure. Well, yeah, you provide totally. a nice segue here. Totally, we've got, yep. We've got a few minutes left. I just want to want to turn personal here because a lot of our viewers, uh -oh, myself, here we go. a lot of our viewers uh, will want to say, uh, boy, he says everything spot on. He's got everything There's, nailed down no, completely. He's just bullshit. Uh, and yet. No, there. because Payne Sama, he controls the situations he's, he's in. Milo does not go into debates. When Milo goes into debates about facts, he gets owned. There's this 
thing like you did against sitting Jangles. right there. Now, uh, many of our viewers know that on this, and I'm sure you probably do too, uh, you know, on a, just on a very personal note here, I share uh, something of a similar background, not expressed exactly the same way, you know, with regard to maybe age or whatever, or, and not, uh, you know, not a physical abuse case. <clears throat> uh, sexual abuse case at the hands of a priest. But, You're good. I was playing uh, around. You know, I ventured into good. this lifestyle. I was there for a good number of years. And I suspect, and I think this is something our viewers would want to know, I suspect, now just so you know, in, what, in my situation in this, I whistled past the graveyard. Never, ever did I think what I was doing, how I was living in a gay lifestyle, was right. Mm -hmm. I would never have considered in a million years uh, ever converting to another faith or no faith at all. I knew from get-go the Catholic Church was the church established by the Son oh, of God. Pog, I knew that its teachings were divine revelation. Uh, it was just all of that stuff was the case. And me yet too. I still sort of lived on in this sinful yeah, life. Just kind of, too. you know. Me too. I have the same experience. So I, I guess. Yes, he's an ex-gay. Michael Voris is famously, well, famously. An ex gay, yes. He does all kinds of stuff about that. Um, uh, the problem is that, and this is something that a lot of your listeners will find very uncomfortable to hear and may even find yeah, blasphemous or uh, at least offensive, which is that I found somebody with whom I'm extremely happy, who I feel has brought me actually closer to the church in a way because it's opened my heart up for love and, and, and opened me up in a way that I was never emotionally available before and enabled me to connect more closely with my faith and that is something people will find very uh -oh. outrageous for me to say but it is the case um you know the person that i am with now um has made me has has brought me closer to to catholicism and i do think that if you're going to do it you should at least get as close to the right kind of lifestyle as possible which is monogamous loving faithful you know, as normal as possible. That one didn't last long. One hundred percent, except not obviously. And then you know, maybe try, maybe try work on it. But certainly from my point of view, I know that I could never be happy physically with a woman at this stage in my life. It's not going to happen. Okay, that's fair enough, but. Is and the... I, I know that. So I'm faced with two choices. Sure. One, give up one of the fonts of joy that I have in my life, which would significantly weaken my ability to fight the good fight. This is the paradox I live. This is why, this is why it's a difficult question. And this, I hope, will, will help people to understand that it's not as simple as all that. You know, Do I give up something that gives me power, that gives me reserves of strength and enables me to do good in the world? Rapid bullshitting. Um, Rapid no, is the conclusion justification, which uh, because because it, it 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 would it would make me less good at all the good stuff that I do. Um, so it's it's. Can I interject? Hmm. If you yeah, let's leave aside for a moment the the question of sin, put that aside and talk about on the level you're speaking of right now. Uh, to be taken in the natural state and through a relationship elevated to a better form of that natural state yeah still does not address the question that the natural state on its own is fallen if no, you, if if you can i don't think i don't think that it does but i will tell you that being with somebody who for instance has a child and becoming a step parent you know, has connected me to a different kind of love and a different sort of adulthood and maturity that has broadened and deepened my understanding of people, has 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 fueled more indignation of injustice for me, and as it makes me fight harder. But I think, my goodness, you can imagine if it was, you know, I, it it I've gained a little window, a little insight into the great glory and happiness of, of a marriage as God intended through this, and it's made me better. 
and it doesn't and I and I I know everything you're saying I know I know I know I'm just not there yet um and I don't know if I'll get there uh, I'm not the first, I'm not the first Catholic who lives this way and does lots of good things anyway um and I think ultimately um Oof. I mean he's 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 telling the audience what they want to hear he's telling the audience what they want to hear that's something I'll, I'll have to continue to wrestle with I would ask you if you have uh, um, it's like, like a thousand thoughts going through my head right here because I was where you are. Mm. Are you capable of living chastely? No. <laughs> what did I fucking tell you guys? What did I tell you? What did I motherfucking tell you? <laughs> This is the most honest thing that that Milo has ever said. Like, just watch this again. Oh my God, watch this again. I was where you are. Mm. Are you capable of living chastely? No. No. And I, I think it's important to know yourself. I think it's important to know yourself. Wouldn't it be better <laughs> to, to, to if you know that you will snap, that you will break? If you know that... That is the one moment of honesty that fucking Milo has ever said besides saying that he hates lesbians. Holy shit! He's like, God, no. God, no. I can't live without a dick in my ass. God, no. What will happen? Do you want to do it in a promiscuous, casual, disease-collecting way? Or do you want to, do you want to just... It. Bake it Go in. ahead, clip it. And some people I'm, say, I'm not. I'm not suggesting. Some people I'm will not say suggesting don't do, don't be monogamous and go off and be promiscuous. No, no, no. I'm, but I'm, I'm saying. No, but I'm saying like it, it, the answer. I I think that part of the heroic manly, manly virtue we were talking about earlier. One of the oh, you know, don't you the, worry. The things about men's wait, virility. wait, wait. Sh sugar glass. Don't you worry. I'm fucking. This is this is so fucking fun. This is the funniest shit ever. Milo's Milo's arc downwards has been just just it's just been pure schadenfreude that's it it's just oh my god it's so perfect don't worry about me i'm i'm all good i'm i'm fucking this has been great and um you know i i, I don't know many men who can live that way giving that up to become a priest which very few of them actually do uh giving up i don't even know pain trauma, there's nothing i can do about it wife having children is the most i mean mo there's a reason that most people can't do that and I, I am one of the people who can't do that uh so you know if i if i if i could i would have done it already. listen on this one thing i can completely understand i am an i understand milo so hard on this i too would have the same reaction could you not live a chaste life Oh, God, no. That would be me. Can you imagine? Oh, my God. I couldn't even handle that. Fuck no. Fuck no. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck no. <laughs> um, but I know that I can't because I'm a man with male drives, and I know that that's... Because <laughs> I'm fucking horny, dude. It's not possible for me. Like, I'll, I can try forever, and I will try for, you know, but, but I, I, know that, I know that's not possible. Well, I mean, yeah, you're, uh, you know, let's go spiritual here for a second. Yeah, you're right. You can't do it. I couldn't do it. It requires grace. It requires a cooperation with supernatural grace because that's it. You can't, you, me, none of you, nobody can live on the natural level. Uh, and what he's saying right now is that God is keeping him from jumping over the table and pounding the shit out of Milo. Get it 95% right and still have the 5% Get it. You know, Get wrong. It. Uh, and, you know, depending on what the particular sin or sins are, or the root sins are, uh, you know, they destroy their presence, destroys the ability to step into the supernatural. Because that's where we have to go. We have to live in the supernatural in this life to move into it, into the next. And it's just a transition. I think, um, I think and some of your listeners will find this even more distressing, but since I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Since I've yeah, decided yeah, I, to, I, op I opened, to, I, I went there. I opened I've up the to shock people and, and say what I really believe, then, then <laughs> hey ho, let's go. Um, I kind of always resign myself to being 
to martyrdom, if you like. You know, I've I've been a free speech warrior, which has has led to me being the most lied about person in the country beyond the president. I've always kind of known that I would end so, up. Oh, he's you know, such a blistering narcissist. Full of arrows, and you know, on the battlefield. But I would have done something that enabled a breakthrough that got the army through that you know contributed to the war being won but that i would be left you know on the battlefield with you know uh full of full of arrows and 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 the whole the holes from sword thrust this and all is so pathetic. i've kind of always known holes from sword thrusts dude come on oh my god or always suspected or feared maybe is the right word that that might be my destiny so maybe it is maybe my maybe my fate. Nah, milo your destiny's heaven well i hope it is i your hope it is. Your um, that's what that's what we're all created for your destiny's heaven this, that's the only time i've ever the only time i've ever not admired exactly but sort of been attracted by a feat of one other religion whatsoever because when you consider catholicism versus everything else everything yeah. else comes up so short and looks so shoddy by comparison the only thing i do like is the is the scales in islam you know <laughs> so if, you, if you if you do one really really bad thing you can outweigh it and be okay and we don't have that uh and you know, we, we we don't there are certain things that are just like nope sorry <laughs> if you're not your name's on the list you're not coming in uh and and, and we we don't have that and that's I, in my particular prediction. Because you're loved enough to, for God to want you to be perfect, not want you, absolutely. well, want you, absolutely. but also absolutely. command and I, and you. I, and I know that's a better way. I know. Vora slipping up a little bit there. I know that's better. And, it, and, and, and I know that's the right thing. But given my particular predicament, it's the only thing in any other religion that I kind of like the sound of selfishly. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, that's fair. I mean, that's that's because under those con under those conditions, I'd be fine. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's on. A, it, that's an honest self-assessment. So, uh, let me ask you: Do you see yourself? Because certainly, I'll pray for you for this. I mean, I have a connection on this with you. I'm sure many others do also, but I happen to be interviewing you. Uh, do you see a? Uh, do you see the possibility down the road of I Milo can be a? Uh, 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 a Catholic living in full accord with the teachings of the church. I think if my present relationship were to end for whatever reason, then I think that I would do it. And I think I probably could do it because I think I would be able to use that as a sufficiently life shattering, cha you know, changing, whatever. I think I would be able to parlay that into a very new way of living. Yes. I don't hope for that. If I'm, I have to be honest, I have to be sincere. I don't hope for that. Look, if somebody. I, I look. I sat. In, I sat in some relationships, just of, of you know, some more whatever than others, but you know, some very much exactly where you're sitting. And if, if my, my mom ever, said, my mom said something to me when she was dying of cancer. I mean, you look, Bromo. I don't think it really causes. I, I don't know if Milo experiences self-loathing. I think this is all an. I think this is all an act. I think he's stringing Voris along because he enjoys getting Voris's attention. He enjoys Voris caring about him. Like I, I, every other action, if you would analyze every other action um, that Milo engages in, he's an actor. He loves getting people enwrapped in him. He's a narcissist. I don't think he feels bad about anything that he does. I mean, he literally said, no, there's no way I can live a chaste life. He doesn't, at the end of the day, maybe he feels a little bad about it. I don't know if he actually believes Catholicism. Um, maybe he does. But, uh, but realistically, come on. He's just, he, he's got, he's got this guy on his finger. He's got Daddy Voris on his finger. The graces I received, thank God, I cooperated with them, but they were not of my origin or doing or bringing on or anything. My mom, uh, you know, prayed for years. She did a St. Monica, St. Augustine thing, and she said, um, she said, uh, after I think it was 13 years, 15 years, something like that, of praying incessantly, and if you knew my mom, she was OCD. It was, you know, she probably drove our Lord nuts. Uh, she said, uh, she said one day, I give up Jesus. You're not answering my prayers. He's no, I meant, I meant he's got, uh, he's got this guy wrapped around. Well, good point. He's not changing. He's in this I horrible, simple my words. lifestyle. He's going to go to hell. That's it. I don't care what you do to me. Do whatever you have to do, but spare the eternal life of my two sons. 
And my brother was in a I see what you did there. Environment of sin, but nonetheless away from the church I as well. I see what you did there. And uh, uh, and that was it. I mean, she got cancer very shortly after that. And it was very clear to me that that was the big final cross uh, uh, that he... Uh, Gay men that our Lord... are depriving their children of God's of their God-given right to a mommy. Allowed her to have so that it would merit sufficient graces for me to be able to turn my life around and... You know, I sit in front of you now as a guy who's not gay, uh, understanding an awful lot. My father died. A guy who is... Dude, come on! Died earlier this year. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. It, matter of fact, Friday is his, uh, his, is, is his anniversary. It's one year anniversary. And right. that sort of lead up to what didn't necessarily appear to be uh, his death, but was, you know, he was 88. So if it wasn't then, it was going to be coming soon. That whole thing sort of sent me into, you know, a lot of spiritual, oh my gosh, I got stuck in a blender. This has been the hardest year of my life. There's a lot about Michael Voris here that does not scream, that does not stream not gay. Let's just put it that way, okay? Okay? There are some details about this image that will reveal that this is not this is very much not a not gay man life with my father dying and uh has anyone noticed this guy's got his fucking shirt unbuttoned he's an old as fuck man he's an old as fuck man and there's not a fucking chest hair in sight this guy waxes his chest like you can't even imagine this dude 100 percent still gay even though all of the still um, gay uh, actions and desires and all that stuff were resolved, there was still a spiritual turmoil over all of this. And it his hands, his fucking knuckles are shaved. Sometimes the only way God can get to somebody is through turmoil. Probably Not that he wants them to be in it, but he wants them to come out of it. Uh, right holy so that's so that's that's the in in answer your question and that's the only circumstance i could see it and you know who knows we will absolutely keep you in the first of all i want to ask uh everybody watching this to uh keep not only everybody at church militant in prayer but i, I think my, milo are you a, are you a premium subscriber <laughs> sorry you just cut out a bit then are, are you a premium subscriber here to church militant I think that I did it through the company. So if you've looked me up, you won't have found me because we have a we have a secretary who will have done it. But I'm pretty sure we are. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Well then, awkward. For all of our this guy is so awkward. Michael Voris is so awkward. Premium subscribers, you included. <laughs> uh, you know we are. Look, this guy is like th this guy is such a fucking awkward, clumsy. Ask uh, you know make it a part of our prayer. Uh, you know for God to help you. Uh, be yes. a holy yeah, precisely man. Precisely, revere life. However, that, that's, I mean, True that's got to be sama. your prayer. It's my prayer. It's everybody's prayer. Who wants, who prays to God and says, make me unholy. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the prayer is. Who would pray to God and ask them to be unholy? Who would indeed, chat? Who would indeed, my lovely impies? Is, you know, make me holy. Uh, you know, that was ultimately, for all of St. Augustine's, you know, I'll make not me chase not not right now. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, look, everybody. I, there's probably no guy on earth who oh, can't come on. relate give me to another, that prayer. Give me another five or ten years, and then I'm and then I'm in. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's if we have another five or ten years. Who knows? We don't know. So that's the uh, what? You know, that's 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 we the back. issue. Chat's we back. Refresh. Horrible, whatever happened to anybody who's in? You know, we are back. As my so. friend Douglas Murray likes to say, we'll be arguing over transgender pronouns when the Mullahs nuke us. You know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, probably true, but I just ask, look, everybody, that's your prayer. It's my prayer. I'd ask everybody who's watching here to be, you know, to be their prayer also that, uh, uh, you know, that uh, you and anybody else faced with this predicament or any other predicament with, you know, where sort of the pain and the chains of human yuckiness uh, just you want to kind of tear away from them. But at the same time, it's got this massive attraction and mm -hmm. that needs the help of God. It just needs the help of God. So we would pray for you and for everybody, you know, in any of these kinds of situations that our Lord, however the grace is merited, either by ourselves or by others, uh, you know, pour out the grace and, you know, help you and me. And The reason why I believe that Milo is irredeemable because Milo does not want to be redeemed. Are you fucking kidding me? Milo fantasizes at night about fucking Satan. Come on.
everybody, you know, Come uh, on. be as holy as God wants us to be. We, that's one right. of the final prayers we pray in the morning prayer chaplers. I make me, uh, uh, God, make me, uh, you know, as holy as, know you, know, you know, know, let other people be holier than me as long as I am as holy as you want me to be. Well, Fawn, you get to, right? And uh, that's our prayer. That's our prayer, brother. Thank you. Well, thank you. Um, um, I'm, work, I'm working on it, and I, I will continue. <laughs> you got, us, you got us in prayer. You, we'll keep you in prayer. Thank you. Thank you. I'll keep you in all righty. God bless Milo. Milo Yiannopoulos, the Thank everything so that he said, and and really cool hair, too. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you know what? It's actually really awful today. I don't even know why I said hair icon, because normally it's so beautiful. And today I kind of tumbled out of bed late. I rushed it. It looks dreadful. I'm sorry. But um, if, if, uh, if your listeners are not too scandalized Slow by down. me, and at some point I come on again, I promise to get a proper blowout before I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank we you will. so much for having me. It's been delightful. Thank you so much, Milo. God bless. Thank you. God bless. All right. When we come back, we'll have uh, some closing thoughts on all of this, and then uh, we'll have a question from the audience. I will eat a survival bucket. Sh sugar glass, I will, I will eat a survival bucket. Don't you worry. Oh, wow. So where does that leave us now? Welcome. Fast forward to March 9, 2021. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Vermin. Oh my god. Precisely. Milo Yiannopoulos, the gay man whose conservative message messaging and willingness to speak on the truth sparked riots on university campuses may well trigger more outrage now that he describes himself as an ex-gay and sodomy-free and is leading a daily consecration to St. Joseph online. Two years ago, when church militants Michael Voris famously challenged Yiannopoulos to live a chaste life, Yiannopoulos was not defensive. Instead, he acquiesced and humbly admitted his human weakness. That is not what happened. These, this is the, that is the silliest representation of what happened. I know everything you're saying. I'm just not there yet, and I don't know if I'll get there. It seems he has now arrived there. And then here's the interview. When I used to kid that I only became gay to torment my mother, I wasn't entirely joking. Of course, I was never wholly at home in the gay lifestyle, who is, who could be, and only leaned heavily into it in public because it drove liberals crazy to handsome, charismatic, intelligent gay man riotously celebrating conservative principles. Grifter! Grifter! That is not to say I didn't throw myself in enthusiastically into degeneracy of all kinds in my private life. I suppose I felt that's all I deserved. I'd love to say it was all an act, that I've been straight this whole time, but e even I don't have that kind of commitment to performance art. Talk about method acting. Oh my god. Here's him talking about being a, m a martyr again. I treat it like an addiction. I'll never declare it a thing of the past. That means he's going to keep fucking and just get forgiveness every time. In public, of course. Well, the guy I live with has been demoted to housemate, which hasn't been easy for either of us. It helps that I could still just about afford to keep him in Givenchy and a new Porsche every year. Could be worse for him, I guess. My own life has changed dramatically. I'm someone who responds to micromanagement accountability, so I've found counting days an effective bulwark against sin. In the last 250 days, I've only slipped once, which is a lot better than I predicted I would do. It feels as though a veil has been lifted in my house, like there's something more real and honest going on th than before. Maybe the lack of theater or spectacle is a sign the gay impulses truly are receding. Oh my god. Secretly, I feel I've done enough good in this life to excuse me from earthly penance for past sins. Your readers, your readers will no doubt respond rightly that this statement demonstrates how far I have to go. That means he's just, he doesn't, he doesn't fucking care. Check your pride, not your privilege. So often it's vanity or conceit or self-satisfaction that gets in the way of accepting Christ. Don't even get me started, drag queen story hour! I only have to see those four words to be overwhelmed by the urge to buy rope? Holy shit! 
I have enjoyed a lifelong appreciation for the absurd and the outrageous. So part of me gleefully anticipates the day I can seize the moral high ground to denounce the, for the others for failures of, pr pr of piety and sobriety. Oh my god. Holy shit, as you might expect, my professional priorities are shifting given my new spiritual preoccupations. Over the next decade, I would like to help rehabilitate what the media calls conversion therapy. It does work, albeit not for everybody. As for my other aspirations and plans, well, no change. I've always considered abortion to be the preeminent moral horror. They say if you let one sin in, uh, others will follow, and now I truly know what that means. As I've begun to resist sinful urges, I've found myself drinking less, smoking less, you name it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. See, this is Milo realizing the direction that the party is going. This is Milo realizing the direction the party is going and adjusting his... And adjusting his tactics he he's adjusting the act that's all it is watch he'll do it again in five years he's done it a hundred times uh, what's going to ultimately become of people like milo milo will catch a flight to whatever country he can continue um fucking and doing cocaine in easily the moment that the united states becomes sufficiently gay uh, anti-gay enough that he would be put in a camp he'll just fly somewhere else he has the money the dude has like the dude just talked about how he's got a he gets a fucking new Porsche every year. That's how it goes. That's how it goes.